Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making a rum cake. It's very easy to make but you just have to follow certain rules. Make sure before you bake always check the expiration date of your baking powder and if you're going to use baking soda make sure you check the expiration date of that also. Another thing you need to do make sure your eggs, your milk, and your butter, you have it at room temperature. This is the butter I'm going to be using. It's pure Irish butter. And the ingredients I'm going to use milk, unsalted butter, eggs, kosher salt, oil, flour, sugar, pure vanilla abstract, and uh, baking powder, and my rum. So let me show you what I'm going to do first. Also have your measuring spoons because accurate measurements is what makes it come out great all the time. I have, I just put a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I just noticed that it didn't record. Make sure you always level out your spoon. So I put it in my three cups of flour. And to that I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, I'm going to put my safety and I'm going to put my flour, my baking powder and my baking soda and I'm going to sift it. And this is it. I'm going to set it aside. I have my baking pan think. and I'm going to spray it with my Baker's Joy. So shake it and make sure you spray every little nook and cranny that you can find because you do not want it to stick and you won't be able to take your cake out of the pan. I've done that and I'm just going to set it aside. It has the oil that you need and it also has flour in there. So let me set it. I preheated my oven but because my pan is colorful I put my oven on 325 degrees. So most of the times the cake they bake it at 350 but when the pan has color in there it's best to reduce the temperature um, in the oven. So I'm going to pour my sugar. That's two cups of sugar. I have two sticks of butter. I'm going to put one stick in. And like I say, it's at room, te room temperature. Let me get all of it. The other stick, I'm going to take one tablespoon out and I'm going to replace that tablespoon with a tablespoon of vegetable oil. So this is the tablespoon that I took out. I'm going to put the rest of the butter in. And make sure it's unsalted butter. And now I have my vegetable oil. I'm just going to put a tablespoon of that in there. This is the tablespoon. And it keeps it very moist. And especially if you don't eat the cake the, the first day and you keep it, it will not dry out as fast. And I'm going to take my hand mixer and we're going to start mixing it. You can, you can start off slow so you don't flash all over the place. 
and then after we will try it. And when you're mixing, always make sure you take everything from on the side so everything can be blended together. And now we're going to do the eggs. Crack the eggs. I'm using four jumbo eggs. So crack the eggs one at a time. And just put it in there. As soon as it mixes in, you can add another egg and do the same process. And scrape it from the sides. I'm going to do all four of the eggs and I will be back. I'm using one teaspoon of kosher salt. You can use regular salt. And I'm putting two teaspoons of my pure vanilla abstract. And I'm going to mix that together. You should incorporate your ingredients but do not over mix because you can make your cake hard. And I'm going to use half a cup of rum. And it's Maya's rum that I'm using. But you can use any kind. And give that a stir. And now we're going to alternate with the flour and the milk. I'm going to put half of my milk and half of my flour mixture. And I'm going to mix that. So I did it about a minute on medium and then I took it for a minute on high and we're going to add the rest of the milk and the rest of the flour mixture. And let's mix that up. Incorporates well. And now I'm going to make it hot. Have it mixed up. And I have my pan that I'm just going to pour it in. in my pan. I'm going to smooth it out. And make sure you get the air pocket from in there. You can either hit it on your counter or you can hit it from the bottom. 
to get the air pockets out before you put it in your oven. So now I'm going to transfer it into my oven. It's been one hour. I took the kick out of the oven and I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes before I flip it over. Now I'm about to make the glaze. I have my pot and I'm going to put butter. That's unsalted butter. And I'm just going to let that melt. Now that the butter has melted, I'm going to add sugar. And water. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. I'm not going to add my rum until I bring this to a boil and let it boil for about four to five minutes. I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to add my rum. So I'm waiting for it to come to a boil. It's been five minutes. I'm going to pour in my rum and take it right off my stove. So now that my glaze is ready, I'm just going to stick, I take my skewer and just stick my cake all on the top. I'm going to pour some of the rum before I flip it over. And I'm pouring some of the rum glaze. I want it to saturate in my kick. Let me flip this cake over. I'm going to put this on it. And then turn it around. And let's get it out. And this is the cake. I'm going to take my skewer and do the same thing and just stick it. And before I put the glaze on it, I'm going to transfer it to a plate. Before I pour my glaze over, I have some here. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to brush it all on the top and the sides of my cake. To make sure it just saturates all in the cake. I'm going to brush all the sides and I will be back. I've done all the sides and the rest of the glaze I'm just going to pour it on it. I did not come to play. We are having some rum cake. If you don't want it as strong you can dilute it with more water or you can put less rum or you can cook it while you're doing your glaze and the alcohol starts to evaporate so this is my rum cake let's cut a piece of that rum cake And this is, this is the rum cake. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. So each time I upload, you will be notified. Bye-bye.